So we're on the road headed to Montana. Last two weeks I've had a big change of events and had a third season Colorado mule deer tag and the temperatures in October were just so hot and dry, no snow up high. I made the decision right before the hunt started to send that tag back, save my bonus points. And anyway, we're headed to Salt Lake. I'm gonna jump in the truck with Jeremy Haley and hit the road to Montana. So I've got a combination mule deer or whitetail and an elk tag. So. Uh, excited to be headed to this state. Never been there before. Hopefully we can get into some rutting mule deer and and uh, have a blast. So uh, we'll be there shortly. We've only got 14 hours to go. So see you there. switched gears first two days we spent up in the brakes and uh, we didn't see a whole heck of a lot so we packed camp up and moved east about 120 miles big storm came in 
and uh, dumped about three inches of snow, three, four inches of snow, and it, it's turned off bitter cold, but storm's over, and uh, hopefully, hopefully the deer get up and moving today with this sun, sun being out, so uh, last day right here, and we got a couple tags to fill, so we'll see, see what happens. Sean's working in on him right now. It's about 11 degrees today for a high. So we're gonna work here on this corner, see if we can get him. That buck moved on us. He's talking over this ridge with his doe. So we gotta move up over the ridge. Thousand five hundred and twenty-five mile round trip, so it's quite the quite the adventure. Uh, yeah, you know, we went up there with intentions to stay in a wild tent for five days, but a huge winter storm came in and and hit, dropped the temperatures to minus ten with the thirty mile an hour winds, and yeah, you know, when that happens, it it kind of changes the way you hunt, you know. I don't care who you are or what kind of clothes you have on. Uh, it just makes it pretty miserable, you know, to, to be out in that. So we switched plans and, and went in into a motel and went a little further east. And uh, we took two, two great bucks. Uh, Jeremy took a good buck. Uh, my camera batteries went dead right after his kill shot. So... We didn't do too well on the after shot footage, but, and then uh, Sean took a great buck that I actually kind of decided to pass on. And, you know, I was just hoping for that, that deer that was, you know, one step above there, you know, in that 175 type class of deer. And, you know, when you set your standards like that and you pass deer that are good bucks, you know, you're, gonna go home with some uh, unpunched tags but that's all right to me I don't mind that I'm okay with that I had a great time hunting with these guys and uh, never been to Montana before so it was a it was an awesome experience and there's always another hunt you know there's always there's always next year and there's always more good bucks to go chase